what is IBD? Well, it's not really simple, but you can break it down and try and make it simple to understand just by looking at the letters. It's inflammatory bowel disease. And that, those three words actually contain a lot of the key concepts right in them. Uh, the problem is for people that haven't, don't know anyone with it or haven't lived with it, it sounds like IBS. And both are common, but IBS is much more common. So IBS is out there in the public knowledge a lot more. Uh, the other problem, for those of you who don't know, IBS is irritable bowel syndrome. The other problem is a lot of people that have IBD also can get IBS. So there's a lot of confusion and overlap between IBD and IBS, but they are not the same thing. IBS is an irritable bowel, and it's a syndrome, not, not a disease in the classic sense, whereas IBD is inflammatory, not irritable. Also bowel, the B stands for the same, but then it is a true disease in the classic sense with uh, pathology and biopsies and surgery. It's a chronic disease. It's not the same thing as a, uh, a, a, a chronic long-term. It's not the same as an acute or short-term disease. So colitis or uh, ileitis, which sometimes Crohn's is called inflammation in the ileum, that can be an acute presentation from something like an infection like salmonella. That's not the same as Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, which is chronic and goes on for years and lifelong in, in, in many cases. The term bowel, the B in IBD, that leads to some troubles with me in clinic just trying to explain that, because that, that term is a little misleading. Uh, not everyone knows what bowel is, and people get confused about small bowel or small intestine or ileum or jejunum. They're all kind of the same thing. Uh, and other people get concerned confused with the term large bowel or colon or large intestine, which is all the same. It's really all the same thing. It's, I wish they called it digestive tract. So autoimmune, inflammatory, digestive tract disease, but then it's starting to sound uh, too hard to fit on those uh, postcards. So uh, it's the digestive tract, really all the way from the mouth to the anus, which is what my diagram here shows. The other issue is it can be outside of the digestive tract, particularly with Crohn's, but even with ulcerative colitis in the skin, in the eyes, in the joints. It's an autoimmune inflammatory disease, chronic, mainly affecting the digestive tract, but can be in any part of the body. These are the three main names of inflammatory bowel diseases we see, ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease, the main two, but there's this overlap where it's gray and you can't tell which is which, called indeterminate colitis which is much more common than we probably previously thought. And there's a limited form of ulcerative colitis, which is much closer to the anus only, called proctitis. I probably uh, could have put pouchitis, which you heard in Julie's talk as well. I probably could have put that on the list as well. But pouchitis, she said, is a sort of made-up bad term. And it, well, it's true, because it's a made-up medical condition, too, that occurs after you've had a pouch-type surgery. So uh, it uh, often is. Um, classified as its own condition, but it's also often ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease inside a pouch. So, Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis, uh, similarities. So this is the uh, overlap and the difficulty as a, a doctor trying to tell you what you actually have. So uh, sometimes I don't. I just say you have IBD, and I don't know if it's Crohn's or colitis. Colitis just generically means itis or inflammation. Itis is the medical latin -y thing for inflammation. Tucked on the end of the word colon, so C-O-L-I-T-I-S. So colitis just means inflammation of the colon, and it can be due to a list that long, including Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, infections, like I had already alluded to, and you know, 20 other things. So if the inflammation is in the colon, it could still be Crohn's. That doesn't make it ulcerative colitis. So there's overlap and many of the same symptoms because of that and many of the same tests to diagnose it, like colonoscopy, and many of the same drugs. There are differences, and one of the key differences is that if Crohn's is out, if it's outside of the colon, if it, if it comes into the small intestines, the ileum being the section of the small intestine, I'll have a diagram in a moment, that's most commonly affected, then it's, then it's Crohn's. Ulcerative colitis does not go outside of the colon. So that's one of the key differences. But in, in, a, in a sense, too, there are some other things that make Crohn's slightly 
Or I'm hesitant to say that. There's no. Please be warned that in my talk, nothing I tell you is absolute. There, there's always uh, exceptions to every rule, and and there are patients that have extraordinarily severe ulcerative colitis and extraordinarily mild Crohn's. But in a sense, Crohn's has the potential to be worse. Is maybe the best way to phrase it, because it can burrow its way deeper and cause things that I'll show you diagrams like fistulas and abscesses. And there's also this theory that you can, as you can see on the on the the right column, that ulcerative colitis is a curable disease, whereas Crohn's disease is not, which also makes Crohn's conceptually maybe a bit of a scarier entity because it's not curable. But that's a bit artificial because often you can't tell what you have, so is it really curable if you, the cure is surgery. For those of you who don't know, you ulcerative colitis, remove the colon, you've cured the colitis. But as you just, you've heard a first-hand account, that's not really as true as it looks in black and white on, on a slide. So really, um, that sense of Crohn's being worse and ulcerative colitis being curable, although it's in the classic handouts and medical school lectures and you see it, it's a bit of an old-fashioned concept. And I think this slide will probably be gone in the next five to 10 years. But I felt you should all be aware that this is out there because this has been the classic teaching for 40 years about these two conditions. But really, as we go forward, it's sort of overlapping a, a bit more. <laughs>